Yeah. When I was diagnosed with uh, brain cancer, glioblastoma, grade three to four. So I went to surgery. After surgery, I was not able to talk. Lost brain and hand coordination. I couldn't remember my password. I couldn't spelling. Complete loss. Pronunciation. Remembering. A lot of I learned language again. Still, I'm not very good. Some of the cell in my brain has been damaged it, because they were not thinking that I will be surviving more than two years and it shows that the effect now. I gave all my project to my postdoc, 14 PhD students, two mechanical technicians, and then in Hyderabad also around 20%. So I was not able to manage them. After four months, I was able to come back part time. After five months, I became full time. I don't know if, because they told me that after six months, my salary would be half. I don't know, maybe because of that, I came back. If you are away from research, for six months. So I started with teaching. I started two courses and then one research gradually. But then I spent a lot of time on health. I found methods, the poison that can cause cancer. So I change the way I cook food, the type of food I eat, and duration of fasting. I don't use frying, I didn't use any oil except olive oil and coconut oil. And Initially, all on the vegetable, different vegetable. After a while, I increase some fish. Gradually, I become stronger. I limit my eating from two, twelve to to two for breakfast and then dinner 6 p.m. Sometimes I'm eating one time per day. I lost a lot of weight. And I am now around 55. And I realize that what cancer so they are, how they are created, and what they leave us.